If you have a letter from the Forge Mother, then you've come to the right place. And we don't even care that you're one of those Nord-loving, lizard-liking, preening-like-a-dark-elf, card-carrying members of the Ebonheart Pact. No offense. And here I am, all the way from the icy nethers of Rothgar, to officially welcome you and transport you to Orsinium. Of course, I'm also supposed to make sure you're willing to do a little hard work. There's no room for shirkers on my wagon. I sent a caravan full of food and supplies to Orsinium. Once there, everything will be distributed to the outlying clans to help them make it through the winter. The caravan's slow. I want you to catch up with it and see it safely to the city. The caravan should have just entered Rothgar territory. I can take you as far as the entry gates, but you'll have to make it from there on your own. This is important. If those supplies don't reach the city, the smaller clans don't stand a chance. I can take you as far as the border gate. Then I have to come back in case anyone else shows up with an invitation. Just catch up to the caravan and escort it to the city. Then introduce yourself to Forge Mother Alga. She's expecting you. Let's go. We can't let Chief Fazrog deal with I the Winterborn by himself. Come all this way to die, Elf. That isn't what I signed up for. Damn it! Where you are look Winterborn brave, braver out. than me. Anyway, are you going to help Chief Fazrog? Did Orsinium send you? Are you part of the reinforcements? The Winterborn came out of nowhere. It happened so fast. They took our cargo into the hills and the Orc peasants chased them. That's when Chief Basrog and his warriors arrived. Our caravan was heading for Orsinium, the new Orc city, when the Winterborn landed on the wagons like flesh flies on Skeever Pie. The Orc peasants refused to let their supplies be taken, so they chased the marauders into the hills. In case you haven't noticed, these cracked acorns aren't worth their weight in bloodberry pudding. Besides, before we could rally our forces, Chief Basrog and his orc warriors arrived. He told us to wait here and then went after the marauders. I knew I liked you the moment I saw you. Chief Basrog is big and mean and looks like he can fight. But there are an awful lot of marauders. Iceheart's Winterborn won't stop until Basrog and all the Orc peasants are dead. You better hurry. I will. Eventually. Maybe. I mean, look around. These people are injured. What happens if the Winterborn come back? Someone has to protect them. Keep them from being picked off one by one. Anyway, I'll keep them safe while you help Chief Basrog.
down and don't move. Chief Bozrog will be back for the rest of us as soon as he can. Found them. Leave no orc alive. Somebody help us. Please! <laughs> more of them. Watch out! I saw what you did out there. Thanks for helping the clan orcs. The ones in here? I think it's too late to help them. Iceheart. He froze them solid. The bastards got magic, the likes of which I've never seen. Yes, I'm with Bosrog. We were out on patrol when we saw the Winterborn attack the caravan. By the time we reached the wagon. The Marauders had already stolen the supplies, and a group of Orc peasants were trying to chase them down. Stupid peasants. You're Fawn Iceheart. He's the most powerful of the Winterborn warlords that have been raiding Hrothgar the past few years. Since he arrived from the Reach, the attacks have gotten worse. Iceheart is strong, ambitious, and extremely dangerous. I like your courage. But I don't think you'll get to test it today. If Iceheart was still around, we'd be frozen solid by now. My guess? He got what he wanted and hightailed it out of here. <laughs> A shame, really. The outlying clans need those supplies. Enough food and supplies to get the outlying clans through the winter. Without those supplies, the clans are going to starve. Chief Bosrog went to track down the Marauders and find the supplies. If he fails, I don't know what we're going to do. Search the area and see if you can find anything that even hints as to where the Marauders disappeared to. If you happen to pick up their trail, find Chief Basra. He'll know what to do. Leave no stone unturned. Anything you uncover could prove useful. Where did you take our supplies? second until you tell me what I want to know.
The clan peasants. Are they all? You're the outsider who leaped into the bear's den to fight the Winterborn? Oh, Shag the Wood Elf mentioned you. Surprised you didn't end up all bruised and bloody like the rest of these fools. This is our home, not an amusement for your pleasure. And I appreciate that. Doesn't change the fact that I despise that you're here, though, sticking your nose in our business. Ah, uh, yes. The King's Invitation. What a royal bag of snakes that is. Look, you have my thanks for saving those people. And as much as I hate it, I owe you a favor. But right now, I need to determine where they took the stolen supplies. Let me see that. We've been betrayed, and for gold, no less. By Malakath, I'll make sure someone pays for this. Look, I need to protect the next caravan to come through the Merchant's Gate. If you truly want to help Rothgar, then you will help me. This note indicates that the traitor has interests in the city. I want you to track down this traitor and find our stolen shipments. The fastest way to get on my good side, and on Kurov's, is to expose the traitor and recover our supplies. I suggest you start your search in the inn. Gold and dark dealings often go hand in hand with drinking and celebrating. Don't disappoint me. I hate putting my trust in outsiders. Do everyone a favor and prove me wrong. Unfortunately, not even orcs are immune to greed. War provides too many opportunities for those willing to trade in lives and suffering. Gold. It turns brother against brother. We were better off when we bought it for everything we needed. Why does the land spin so fast? This land. It promised hope and opportunity, but it hides a basket full of biting snakes. Do not mind me. I must have hit my head. Now I need to find my partners. If only the land would remain beneath my feet and the sky stay above my head. It was a nightmare. We were on our way to Arsinium, ready to start a new business when we were set upon by Winterborn from the Reach. I whipped our beasts for all they were worth, but in their fear, they ran off the road and our cart overturned. It is a mystery and a mystery. My partners, my friends, they are gone. I fear they went over the cliff, along with most of the books we brought from Daggerfall. Please find them. I would aid you, but my head spins like a broken top. Please hurry and find my friends. I fear that none of us will survive long on our own in this forsaken wilderness.
paid you back, and with interest? About time. Maybe you find yourself... It's a good day, friend. I've got gold in my pocket, and a full mug in my hand. So what can I do for you? I don't see how that's any of your business. And if you're thinking of trying to rob me, well, think again. I need this gold for my daughter. Now leave me be, or I'll, I'll hit you with my mug. Oh, why didn't you just say so? Being all mysterious and scaring a person half to death? So, why are you looking for Gulag? My Trinimax deformed toe, if this gold is illegal... My Shilhad needs her potions. All right, let's try this. If you forget all about what we were discussing, then I might have information that will help you. Do you agree? Right, right, you never heard this from me, but Gulag left here a little while ago to talk to those Khajiit traders. You know, the ones who showed up recently? And if nothing else, you should be able to smell them. He wears some kind of fancy fragrance, says it keeps the spirits docile. The Khajiit sold it to him. You ask me, it smells like a dead horker left out too long in the sun. Follow that scent and it'll lead you right to him. enough to make this one want to stop dealing with him. Arusha would agree, except for all the gold he gave us. He's got the luck of Joan and Jode, even if he smells like a dead horker. This one hopes we are blessed with half his luck and twice his gold, but not his scent. as we want. I paid the ten. I saw you grow up. What changed? And who might you be? Go find another bathhouse. I hired this one for the entire day. I'll let you deal with this gulag, darling. I'm going to go and get something to drink. What's this about? If you aren't here to use the baths, it must be about my tonics. Well, I can assure you, my tonics are guaranteed to cure whatever ails you. It just takes time. And... and multiple applications. What? I... I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm a loyal subject of the king. I, I don't have anything to do with any damn Winterborn. No, I... I could explain. The people of this city. I made a deal for them. Gold from the Winterborn allows me to produce my tonics at a fraction of the cost. I'm doing this for the people. The outlying clans. They're enemies of this city and our king. Their chiefs refuse to accept the king's rule. 
They'd rather stay stuck in their old ways and traditions. Meanwhile, the poor of this city can't afford medicine. I'm saving lives. A small price to pay for a larger gain. I've been loyal to this city since before you outsiders started arriving. You have no right to judge me. Fine. What's the use? See what happens when you just try to help? The supplies were sent to Frostbreak Fortress. That's where the Winterborn warlord, Jorfan Iceheart, plans to regroup his forces. I'm sure he's guarding the supplies personally. Ah, it's good to meet like-minded individuals. You have my thanks. The poor of this city can take comfort in knowing they can afford the tonics they need. I'll find a way to repay you. Don't you worry about that. Welcome to Orsinium. I look forward to working with you on this grand endeavor. Ah, another traveler arrives in our grand city. Welcome, welcome. Are you one of the chosen? Do you bear the letter from the Forge Mother? I am a high priestess of Trinimac, serving in Orsinium's temple. Like you, I'm here at the request of Forge Mother Alga to help revive the ancient traditions of truth Honor and unity. I also greet new arrivals. Tell me, how is your journey? We've received similar reports. Just one of a series of unfortunate incidents that we plan to rectify. Awesomer soldiers and even the king himself are looking into this. King Korog believes that even those who refuse his rule must be cared for. Truly. Perhaps we can still recover the supplies the clans need to survive the winter. The decision to invite outsiders to our land has already reaped untold benefits. Tell me, where have the Winterborn hidden the supplies? You located the stolen supplies. Trinimac surely has sent you to us in our time of need. Take this as a reward for helping our people. And you must present yourself to Forge Mother Alga and tell her everything. Oh, look. Here she comes now. This one of the outsiders who responded to my invitation, High Priestess? Yes, Grand Forge Mother. Thank you, Solgra. I will speak to the outsider now. Come, outsider. We have much to discuss. So, our ambassador finally found you. Took a damn time. But you're here now, and that's what counts. Welcome to Orsinium. Amazing how fast we rebuilt the place, isn't it? Orsimer can do anything when we work together. The damn Reachmen and their foul magic. It provides the Winterborn with an unlimited number of soldiers to send against us. Even so, our soldiers have dispatched all but one of their warlords. That bastard, Jorfon Iceheart. Where are the supplies? Trinimac smiles upon us, then. My son, King Kurog, has already traveled to Frostbreak Fortress to deal with Warlord Iceheart directly. Without a strong leader, the Winterborn threat will fade away. You must go and tell the King about the supplies. There are two things my son can't resist. Food and battle. When he learned of Iceheart's location, he rushed to deal with the Warlord personally. Help him end the threat and recover the supplies. The unification of the Orc clans depends on it. The Winterborn pose a threat to all of Hrothgar. Jorvan Iceheart in particular has long been a thorn in our side. 
The king issued the order to invite you to our land. If the Winterborn are defeated thanks to that order, the clans will take notice. Of course, but many of our best warriors are off helping the Alliance. Besides, the other clan chiefs are too busy seeking their own glory. My son needs someone at his side who has nothing to prove. Someone without an axe to grind. Someone like you. I always knew them Pelengares were up to no good. Well done.
I do all the best opportunities always. the soldiers from all of the clans to circle the fort. I saw you escape from me. Our soldiers know what to do, Kirok. You can count on that. Then maybe this victory will finally convince you and the other chiefs to fully accept my claim to the throne. Always just barge into the king's tent without so much as a by your leave? Who in the name of First Forge do you think you are, troll breath? So, you're one of the outsiders my mother's been harping about. I'm Kurok, King of the Orsimer. Welcome to my war. <laughs> your timing's perfect. I'm just finishing this damn fine leg of Chubloon. You hungry? I do enjoy a good meal before a fight. <laughs> it's a good thing that that's where we're going, then. This siege was taking too long anyway. Your fawn Iceheart is the last of the Winterborn warlords. And frankly, I'm ready to be done with him. He, he knows we're coming, so I'm expecting a good fight. <laughs> you bet your arse I told him we were coming. Fair's fair. And it probably scared the ice water out of his veins. <laughs> I want to see you in action. You lead, I'll follow. Now, let's go kill old Iceheart. Then we can return to Orsidium and feast. <laughs> Need to find a way into that fort to get to Iceheart. Talk to the siege commanders and see if they can get us inside. <laughs> 